Hello and welcome. This is Jen at Hope and Healing at Home. And today I just wanted to share a story with you. What do you do with a problem? I will have links to this book and also a link to sign up for my newsletter where I will do a little write up about how you can use story to build relationships with members of your family and also gain some insights with yourself through art journaling in response to reading a story like this. My best friend and I in high school started exchanging children's books and it was a great way to just engage with the joy of reading a story again. They don't all have to have serious messages, sometimes just the joy of reading a story is good. But stories are also really powerful in the healing journey and in prompting conversations that are hard but really important to have. So without further ado, what do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. Tried ignoring it. But nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes all of my things away? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this. And I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself. But still, it found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it and I discovered something, my problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. So that is the end of this story. I'd love to hear 
your thoughts on it. What was your favorite part of it? What was your favorite illustration? What stories are your favorite and why? If you'd like some more questions to ask or some more book suggestions, sign up for my newsletter that I'll be putting out shortly, a couple days here, that will hold some of those things in it. And also, every month I try to send out a newsletter related to an art prompt or a process involving art that helps you gain deeper insight or engage and build relationships with people in your life. So I hope you sign up. Hope you subscribe so you get alerted to next videos that I post. Exciting things coming up in the next couple months here. I always love to hear from you and make content that blesses and encourages you and supports you as you process tough things in life and work to make it better, to discover those hidden opportunities in the problem and the action steps that you can take so that you don't have to be paralyzed by worry or fear and the problem doesn't win. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel so you'll be alerted and also sign up for my newsletter so you can get more ideas and please do share your favorite stories i'd love to grow this list of stories to share with others stories are incredibly powerful and i hope you'll take time to enjoy a story for yourself today and enjoy a story with someone you love